watched some of my other videos, you know I've said this boat had lots of gauges on it. Just none of them ever worked. I even put a new compass on it. But I don't have a wind gauge. I got a little wind thing that spins around up there. And even one of the cups on that broke off this year. I really didn't want to have to run wires running down and all, you know, uh, what a mess. So I've been looking for a wireless wind gauge. Man, what a find. Sail timer. Now, I've already taken it out of the box here. I'll show you. Here's a little picture of it up on the... I've got it on the bow of the boat, just kind of testing it, working with it. It's really pretty neat. Uh, it's got L brackets with it and stuff. In fact, this you can get attachments for it that you can put it up the mast with a um, extra halyard or something. Well, I'm going to mount it. But the neat thing about this is, works with your phone or tablet. Now it does work better with an iPhone or you know an i tablet, uh, but it does work with uh, Android. I've got the Android version, and you know, you look at this and you say, wow, what the heck? There's a lot of little chips and this and that in there. It's very sophisticated, uh, simple to use. It's got a lot of technology in it. So you got to download three apps to make this for all of it. So I got the Sail Timer, the API, the Sail Timer Wind, and then the AF Track and I'll tell you about that in just a minute. But you tap on, so I tap on the um, sail timer app. And you got to have your Bluetooth enabled, of course. All right, here it's already found it. I enable the wind and the wind speed. Now you leave that running in the background. I don't know if you can see it very well here. We'll, we'll do some video on it, but here it is. We're going to do a lot of stuff with this. All right, so you leave that running in the background. And then I open the sail timer wind. Now, we don't have a lot of wind. We don't have a lot of wind today. But here we are. And like I say, I'll, I'll do some better on this. Now, also on their website, you've got all of these tutorials, uh, tutorials. Now here, I know it's a little hard to see, oh, but on their website, they have a lot of videos that show you how to use all of this. They've got uh, screen captures, uh, you know, so that it, you can follow through. It's really easy to use. But now, when I'm out sailing, look at, I can set this up. I'll know which direction the wind is uh, coming from and the speed. How good a range is this? <laughs> I'm here on the boat. I walked with this thing. I'm at the sailing emporium. I'm out about halfway out on one of the piers. I walked all the way to the back of the bathhouse and still was getting readings on this. That's got to be 35, 40 yards. Higher than any mask you're, mask you're going to need. And that's been the problem with a lot of these wireless ones. They're only good for like 40 feet or something. This goes forever. Now on, here's, here's the benefit part of this. With the AF tracker, there's a chart, a simple chart. So I'm here. I want to go here. You know, you put that in on the GPS, okay, it tells you what, where to head, and that's it. With this, this is why this has got all those little chips and all that other little stuff that you see in it. You know, solar powered, never has to be, re it keeps charged by itself. You don't have to change any batteries. The wind's coming at you at, um, uh, on the beam and, uh, or, or straight at you, so you've got to tack back and forth. This takes that information from the wind gauge, analyzes it, figures out where you're going, gives you an, a, an approximate tack, what direction to turn on, and for how long, when to tack back, 
so that you have the shortest time and distance to that waypoint. How great is that? That's fantastic. So we're going to do some other videos on that when we get out there and actually see how this thing works. I'm excited about it. I mean, all I was looking for was something simple, wind direction and wind speed. Check out their website, Sail Timer. Okay, I got I put the link in here for you. This is so amazing. I, I'm not going to mention a price because the price is going to change. You know, it may go up, it may go down. Who knows where it's going to go? But I'll tell you what, it is the most economical wind gauge and durable and dependable. Oh, hey, you know, and even the wind cups have been redesigned. If you, they got a video on this, you know, check out their video on it. It explains it a little bit better than what I do. But basically, you know, if you're up like this, your, your, your mast is here. And you're tipping as you tip, as you keel over, those veins start losing some of the wind. The wind starts falling off of them. So now you don't have accuracy. The way these cups are designed, you can keep keeling over and it's still going to catch the wind and be a lot more accurate than the standard wind vane. It's really going to be pretty neat. Now I am going to mount it on the mast on a, a regular. Uh, mount up there. I'm going to do that a little bit later. I'll give you an update on that. But for right now, I just have it on, on the bow. I know that's not going to work when I'm out sailing. I'm going to get that up before we get sailing. But I just kind of wanted to get an idea of how fast it worked and how... And, and there's so many different settings on this. Uh, when you watch some of their other videos on how to use it, uh, and we're going to do some more videos on how to use it, it explains it and as I mentioned the iTunes it's going to be a little bit more sophisticated than the uh, Android but they are working on the Android um, it's I'm not going to go into all the technical aspects of it because I don't know I just know I'm happy I mean this is all I wanted was just a simple wind gauge you know direction and speed now I've got direction speed and navigation help. Well, stay tuned, guys. A happy and safe boating to you, your family, and friends.